Well, I finished putting the ornaments on, all except two. I have two to put on. And these are two that my husband carved later, and they're actually the same, except our outfits are different. Two different times we went on cruises with friends, and um, he actually made uh, the outfits that we wore the formal night on the cruise, and both of them, and I thought that was very nice. I do keep them on my bookshelves through the year, but um, I will hang one of them on the tree uh, here. So we'll get this hung up here. I want this right here in the front someplace. And, you know, it won't make any difference if they're lined up and stuff because everybody comes and looks at the ornament tree, and now I've got two little great-granddaughters and they're gonna love to come and look around the tree and I know the older one last year she liked looking at the, the ornaments on the tree and this year she's four so it'll be more interesting to her. Um, also I want to explain you know where you put the where I put the ribbons in you can take a hydrangea and cut it cut part of it off and you can stick it in and it covers that up where you put it, put the branch around it. Um, I do a lot of dried flower arranging and trees and things for the art show at, at our library in the fall. This year, of course, we didn't have one because of COVID, but uh, I do a, use a lot of hydrangeas and hydrangeas hide things. You know, if you want, if you don't want something showing, you just stick a hydrangea in there and uh, I'm, I am going to do probably a video on uh, dried hydrangeas and flowers and, and arranging dried flowers. So we'll get this put in here. It's here someplace, I'll find it. But that's what I'm going to do. And then the, for the top, I've made a couple of bows and I ran out of my plaid, but I had a little bit to put on. But I do, what I do is take, I just take for the top and sometimes it's better to have wider ribbon. And you can even take two or four, just take it like this, frump it like this, put a wire around it and then wire it to the top and push it like this so that it looks like one big bow and then you stick it in and you'll see when I'm finished I'll show you how I've got it done at the top of the tree and then I'll put a, another bow up above them and I just put two on this one because I'm not decorating the back but if I were decorating the back I would put at least three of these areas with the bows and then uh, I would put my botanicals, which I'm going to on this tree. I'm gonna use this pompous grass, and I'll probably use three of these, and then I will use pheasant feathers, and I'm going to use probably a little bit of uh, hydrangeas. Now these you can take and break them off, and they work just fine. And you can even stick them inside the tree if you want. If you want a finished look. And I've also got some coxcomb here that I might put on, uh, stick some around on the tree. But I will show you the finished product when I'm done. And um, we'll get to doing that. And I think that's it until we're finished with the tree here. And I'll get it finished and then We'll have a picture for you. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.